Whee! Don't mind me, just driving around my ship's incredibly spacious bathroom in my hoverbike. I might just sit on the toilet whilst I introduce the video. So hello, welcome to our latest look at the Starbound Combat Update. Uh, with me, Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Um, in this video we're exploring the new Midnight and Frozen planet types. Um, you can actually see them in the background in the ship, the Midnight ones at the top, um, once I just get to the front of the ship, um, and the Frozen ones at the bottom. We're currently over the Frozen one. Um, so there's loads of stuff in this update that I'm covering in other videos in this series, such as new monsters, secondary attacks for two-handed weapons, new NPC quests, um, new hover bikes, um, and more. Um, so check the video description for links to them. Um, I remember I'm playing in the early unstable branch of the new update, so not everything has been finalised yet. Now I've been lucky enough to find this system, the Atomillion Prime V. Um, there it is, nice little sun. Um, I think this is a, um, I think this is a fiery star? Um, a Timbillion Prime. Yes it is, it's a fiery star. Um, and I was very lucky to find this, um, which is both a frozen and a midnight planet. Um, so we're going to have a look at both. Now midnight planets are a bitch to find, which we'll look at um, soon. But first we're going to beam down to the frozen planet, using the new exciting animation. Right, so here we are. Um, frozen planets are essentially rebadged tundra planets, but this being, they've been given lots of new content, lots of new tier 5 biomes and cool stuff like that. Or at least biome content. Oh, God. Um, there's talk of new sub-biomes as well, but I'm not sure what planets they're on yet. Um, right, so um, I'm armed with a few weapons, all with secondary attacks, the new secondary attacks that I cover in a different video. This one has one which we didn't cover in that video, which is this. It's a trail dash, it's called. It leaves a trail of fire which burns any enemies in its wake. Um, also, to survive this and these hostile environments... Ooh, a chest. Ooh. A prism... T oh! Oh, this'll be the new prism sub-biome, then. Um, that's useful to know, because this is a new sub-biome. Excellent, and I've also got an upgrade module, um, some gunk. But yes, I've got some brilliant new furniture. Um, is there a loot hall button yet? I can't remember. Um, bollocks. <laughs> uh, I just have to do it the old-fashioned way. Right, also, I've got some, um, just to explore this planet, I've got um, some uh, tech installed, uh, which is targeted blink, FTL boost, and rocket boost. So, I can teleport to there, I can go super fast, and I can also go up in the air. Woohoo! I don't think any of those are new, but it's nice to have... Oh, hello! Hello, mate! Mate! Why are you in this horrible spiky cavern? It's pretty icy here, huh? I don't mind it myself. Um, you don't look very warm, mate. So as well as prism sub-biomes, there's also steam spring and hive sub-biomes, which we may or may not see. Uh, right. Oh, oh, hello! That must be one of the first ones of those, first ones of those things that's actually been any good. Most of the time it's a bloody bomb. Ugh, good, because they're, they're normally a bit sh- Oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, I've seen you before, mate. Mate! Um, these are one of the regular new enemies. You see them quite a lot! I think I managed to arrest my fall just in time there. Um, and I'm currently in a funny little... Hang on, let's go through there. A funny little new sub dungeon biome thing, which is all rather spectacular. And I've got myself a sniper rifle with an explosive shot secondary attack. Ooh, most kind. Right, um, just um, just whilst I'm on the subject of weapons, um, in the um, in the weapons video, um, I've used this weapon, which is a um, what is it? It's a sniper rifle with an enemy bomb secondary attack. And it turns out what the enemy bomb thing does is turn the enemy in, in, enemy into a bomb when you um, strike them. What's that? Oh, there's a sentient snowflake, uh, which I believe is my second album. <laughs> Um, yeah, these um, these frozen planets um, do have something in common with them. Um, I think it's I can't remember if it's, if it's desert planets or arid planets where you get those horrible great big chasms that you have to um, uh, go down to the bottom and then go back up again, which is most annoying. So continuing around the planets, uh, this is a new building. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's say hello. What brings you here? Are you conducting research too? No, I'm stealing all your stuff. Get used to it, pal. Oh hello. The oh my god. Having good times over there. Mate! Save it for indoors. <laughs> right, let's carry on going. So these guys are one of my favourite of the new enemies, actually. <laughs> these little bubble guys. Because they slide around um, the walls. And it's like nothing we've seen so far in, in Starbound. In the fact that they, they cling to the walls like that. And they go on the ceiling. And it's all kinds of cool. I'm still going to shoot them now. Ah! There we go. This has got a secondary attack of a nice little grenade. If we can just fire the damn thing. There we go. Oh, look at that little poofy effect. Nice. 
Right, okay, so we'll leave the um, we'll leave the, leave the bloody frozen planet now um, because the midnight planet. Well, I've never actually been to one before, so I'm really looking forward to this. Okay, so we'll head to the midnight planet now. Um, it's the same threat level as the frozen planet. It's dangerous, so I guess that makes it about tier five. Um, so we'll just um, trundle across to that. So yes, in this update, um, there's lots of new micro dungeons and other improvements to all underground biomes, including background caves and parallaxes, it says in the change notes. So I guess if you go to any old bloody um, uh, biome, you will find some new stuff to look at. So also in this update, there are too many new objects, items, costumes, colony tenants, bug fixes, item tweaks and balance changes to list, according to the change log. Um, and this combat update, by the way, is uh, is one of the last before full 1.0 release. And um, I think the next one is going to be the uh, questing progression update. Uh, right, okay, so the midnight planet is very windy. Um, I don't know if it's literal. I don't know if um, it's always night, but I'm guessing it is. Uh, okay, let's... Um, oh, oh god, this bloody, this bloody tech is going to be the death of me. Literally. Right, this presumably is just normal wood. Uh, yeah, it is. He's a horrible little spitter. Look at that, he's got a great big sack. Uh, Santa says I've been a bad boy. Ooh, I don't like that. It's all sorts of acid. Oh, no. Bloody hell, there's another... Sp Where did that even come from? Unless the tree's bloody spitting at me. What a bloody country. Oh, this is already strange. That's baby lava. Uh, and there's... I don't like these. I already don't like these. They've got knives. They've got horrible snowy... Oh, no! Uh, lads. Lads, these are terrifying. I don't like these at all. They're like ice scarecrows from hell. Although they can't be from hell because ice scarecrows would kind of melt. And they've gone! And they're back! These... Oh, I don't like these. Oh, would they scare me? Right. Die. 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 Well, they go down easy enough. Haha, <laughs> like a cheap hooker. Etc, etc. Right. Die. Actually, with their cloaks, they look a bit like flashers. Dirty. Right, let's let's move. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, Sodom. There's millions of the bloody things, and they're also in disguise as well, because these these are these are not baddies. But I presume that one is. Oh, it's not. Oh, this is confusing. And also, there's a great big hole. Um, let's see what's down the hole. Uh, I think it's just a regular cave. What's that? Oh, it's a chest. Oh, that's confusing. <laughs> um, but now I have a hive bed blueprint and a hive table blueprint. All new stuff. Oh, that means I can expand my colony as well. Um, I'm actually going to get that chest because it's cool. Um, yeah, because hopefully I'll be able to attract new tenants using the furniture from these sub-biomes. So this will be the hive sub-biome. Yeah, I should have realised that. Um, so, so far we've seen the prism and the hive sub-biomes. Steam spring, not 100% sure where that one is. Whether it's on frozen planets, uh these planets, the midnight planets, or perhaps something else. And ow, 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 ow. Owsies. Right, heal. Right, so this is just one of the regular dungeons that we've seen before, so I'm going to leave it be. Leave them all to it. Killing each other. Well, probably killing me, actually. But um, that's... Oh, God, it's one of them. Uh, quickly, quickly move on. Try and get out of this hive biome. It's doing me nutting. I'm going to come underground a bit. And there are these funny little structures. Let's see what these are. Um, they, they can't be fibres. Uh, are they woods? Maybe they're just more wood. There's different... Oh, no, it's loads of lava. Yeah, This is this is just creepy. Oh, no. Go away. Oh, the... Oh, the teleporty, blasty type thing is terrible. Mind you, it's no different to my faster than light warp. So I'll give them that. Oh, we're finally out of the... Um, oh, hello. We're finally out of the hive sub-biome. And what the hell are you? You're a... Oh, well, you're not very talkative, are you, mate? Can you actually see that in the video? <laughs> it's some, it's some black um, spectral thing with green eyes. Uh, who's not very talkative? Um, see what he says when I steal his stuff. Um, a shadow chest. Ah, dark disguise pants, dark disguise shirt. Okay, let's replace this. Um, let's let's replace this new one I found. I found a little um a jumper with kind of like little dinosaur arms, but I'm already bored of it. So let's go dark. Let's go in disguise. Oh yeah, look at this, I'm sort of, some sort of ninja plant with a tree attached to my back and a funny ice crown. Um, but then again, aren't we all? Right, stealing your chest too. Haha! <laughs> mate, mate, mate. Well, bye. What on earth is all this stuff? 
Oh, cool! Um, steal it! It's a... Oh, that's a, that's a thing. Right, that's a shrine. I mean, that's just some stuff with some cash. Uh, well, I'm having that. Shadow marker. I'm having that. It's... Oh, some pixels. And a shadow banner, perhaps? A wind chimes. Ooh, tinkly. Oh, bloody hell! Oh. What the hell just happened? I was miles up in the air and now I'm on the ground. Um, in a... What looks like a dungeon. Oh, it's one of the crow dungeons. Um, yeah, these are old ones. Yeah, you can see it's a great big crow. I'm um, just about. Um, but I, I, I fell. I fell a long way. Um, this this planet must be. I think they must have um, beefed up the um, the terrain generation thing because bloody hell. Um, how do I get back up there? Literally just making my way over the top of the dungeon now. <laughs> this is more like Terraria right now. Right, I think I can now probably safely descend um, once I've healed. And there we go. Okay, I think um, we've exerted this um, planet for now. Um, oh, by the way, I've now got a hard hat. <laughs> I found it in a chest. I am now basically construction ninja. Okay, so if you want to find your own midnight planet, you really need to be kind of um, tier 5 or 6 if you want to stay alive. Um, they're not necessarily that easy to find. You have to find a fiery star, which is um, all very straightforward. But not every system will have one. When I was looking for a midnight planet, I think I probably clicked through about 40 different systems before I found one. Although that was before I knew it was a fiery star. So, some of these systems will have them, some won't. This one has two, rather conveniently. Um, another midnight planet there. Um, and if you go to that fiery star, I think I saw another... Some, one of these, one of these uh, bloody places has... I can't find it now. Um, there, there's another one tucked behind the, the brown planet. Um, so yeah, there's, um, they're there to be found, but do bear in mind you might have to use a bit more fuel to get there than normal. So you might have to stock up in all the usual ways. Right, just for kicks, we've come to another planet. This is a dead planet. Um, so we're going to have a look at the underground to see um, any kind of new parallaxes and stuff like that. Just have a bit of a tootle around. Um, this planet is actually an extreme level, so this is um, quite tricky. All the, all the baddies are bastards. They're spitting fire at me, and they're just being general shits. Oh, yeah, actually, look at that. Look at that over there. That might be that might be new. Um, although I haven't really been to a dead planet in a long time. But yeah, there's all these like, abandoned structures from times gone by. Let's just heal. I might have to be doing a bit of healing. In this, what the dick? Oh yeah, I pressed them the wrong button. <laughs> and accidentally activated my teleporter. God damn it. Okay, let's go into the underground anyway, whilst we're down here. Okay, so I found a cavern um, with all the new funky graphics. Um, it does look rather cool. Um, although I'm just having to fight this funny little blue pig monster. There we go. You can just see in the background, just like, look how lovely it all looks now. With all that sort of caverny goodness. And even a bit of water, which seems to be just kind of sitting there. Um, all very stagnant. Let's see what's in you. Oh, that's that's what I remember from the previous bloody game. Oh, oh hello! I've fallen into a graveyard. A snaily graveyard. Um, <laughs> dead snaily graveyard now. Uh, do I want some tombstones? Probably not. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, oh! There's a staircase and everything. Oh, bombs! Oh, what? Diamond bombs! Diamond bombs? Look, there's diamonds everywhere. That's, that's cool. So they, they really updated those stupid bloody capsules. Now they're actually starting to be useful instead of just death traps. That's good to see. Okay, so that's a very quick look at the um, some of the improvements you might see to all underground biomes. But do have a look, check out all the different um, underground biomes and all the different planets, and you'll see lots of more cool stuff. Yep, so thanks for watching. There'll be more videos in this series. Hopefully we'll be looking at colony NPC quests next. Um, so subscribe for more videos in this series and a lot more besides. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, another one. Haha. <laughs>